morning, everyone. Good morning to you. God bless you all this morning. Good morning. It's 5.30 a.m. Breakthrough Prayer. Amen. Bless God this morning. Go ahead and share to all your friends. Go ahead and share to all your groups this morning. I want to welcome you. Thank you for coming in and thank you for desiring to seek the Lord this morning. I am Prophetess Sophia McBride and I am just excited to be in the house and in the presence of the Lord this this morning I'm telling I'm grateful I give God all the glory this morning I thank him I thank him for waking me up this morning and started me on my way aren't you glad this morning you are here and ready to pray I know I am I know I am look I'm gonna tell you about a couple of things before we're gonna get right on into the word this morning but on April the 30th that's not this Friday but the next Friday next Friday next Friday look at here we have uh, Psalmist Christian Anderson who is going to be with us on Friday night fire so I'm telling y'all I'm excited I'm excited I'm excited I'm excited I know God's getting ready to do something because the one of God is coming in the house hallelujah so we are so excited we are just ecstatic about her coming we're ecstatic and we're expecting the presence of the of the lord to meet us in this place i am excited about god is gonna do something great y'all he's gonna do something great and we uh, we're just believing god that signs wonders and miracles will manifest through um really through god Hallelujah. But you know, he uses people. So Father, we just thank him. I'm just thanking him that she is coming. I'm thanking him for what's about to happen. So y'all don't want to miss it next Friday night. Matter of fact, put it on your schedule right now. Go ahead and mark it on in in your phone. April the 30th at 7 o'clock. Some is Christian Anderson is going to be with us. We are celebrating one year of 5 30 a.m prayer on social media now y'all know now y'all know we've been doing 5 30 a.m prayer since 2001 so that's it's not a new thing but it is new it is new for us to be on social media doing 5 30 a.m uh, prayer so we're excited about it and i just want we just wanted to just give god all the glory and acknowledge that he has been with us he's been faithful to us and 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 we have pressed through an entire year on social media so god we just say thank you all right so i'm gonna tell you i just want to go ahead and get on into the word this morning let us pray let us pray and let us just seek the lord this morning so hallelujah father god in the name of jesus we come before you this morning we give you praise we give you glory we give you honor we thank you father god hallelujah for being in our midst we thank you father god for all that you are doing in our lives all that you have done all you're gonna do god we say thank you we say thank you god we don't take it for granted not at not in we don't take it for granted not even a little bit father god and we just submit ourselves to you father i submit my mouth my heart oh god to you and i pray lord that i won't say anything that you didn't say i pray father god that i'll be led by the holy ghost in the name of jesus i pray father god that the prophetic utterance is in the house that your presence is with us oh god hallelujah i pray right now oh god that you would reach the people right where they are that you would minister to them that you would speak directly to their hearts directly to their situation in in the matchless name of Jesus God we give you praise amen 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 go ahead on y'all and share with your friends go ahead and let them know that we are here this morning and we are praying for you in the name of Jesus now we praying in Jesus name so hallelujah the Lord put something on my heart he put something on my heart regarding the people of God hallelujah because I come when I am I don't just come before you any kind of way I don't just I'm not giving you something I read on the internet 
I'm believing God each week, each time I come before you for the rhema, the rhema word. And by now y'all know what that is. Rhema is the right now word of God. And I believe God every time I come before you to drop what is happening, what he's saying right now for the people of God as a whole. Amen. So this morning we're going to start in proverbs 13 and 12 proverbs 13 and 12 and it reads hope deferred makes the heart sick but when desire is fulfilled it is a tree of life now i read that out of the king james version uh first but look let me read it to you here in the message bible it says unrelenting disappointment leaves you heart sick but a sudden good break can turn life around amen it say a sudden good break can turn life around and and as i prayed and asked the lord what would you have me to say father god to your people today he just dropped in my spirit to tell you, to tell the people of God. Hallelujah. He said, tell them that I am restoring their hope. I am restoring their hope. Hope deferred is not a denial. God said, hope deferred. It's not a denial. Amen. Listen, I want you to say that out of your mouth. Hope deferred is not a denial in my life. Good morning to you as you come in. Good morning, women of God. I see women of God on the line. Good morning, Mona, uh, Mona Lisa. Good morning to you, Jeff. Man of God, good morning to you. Good morning, Kendra. Bless you this morning. Good morning, Dr. Archibald. Thank you for coming in this morning. I'm so grateful that you all are joining us in prayer. Good morning, Dr. White. Bless you this morning. God bless you all. God said, to tell his people hope deferred is not a denial just because the things that you have been believing god for have been delayed god said to tell you this morning the delay was for your making the delay was for your making hallelujah the delay is not, and it was not, a denial. Amen. The delay is not, and it was not, a denial. The delay is for your making. It was God that deposited the vision. It was God. It was God that gave you that idea. It was God that gave you that deep longing inside of you to pursue that thing. Whatever that thing was, it was God. And since God gave it to you, he told me to tell you this morning to remember his word, to remember the holy word of God in 2 Corinthians 1 and 20. It says, for all the promises of God in him are yea and in him, amen, unto the glory of God by us. Amen. All the promises are what? Yea and in him, amen. The Lord said that his people are weary. They're weary and they've forgotten that we are in the daily battle. We are, we are in a daily battle with the prince of darkness. And sometimes we call him the prince of the air or the ruler of this world. And he, the ruler of this world, has ensued an attack upon God's people. And sometimes we forget that we're in a battle. The enemy's objective is to cause us 
to become so overwhelmed by our personal uh, daily trials and, and, and national and international catastrophic events. He wants us to become so overwhelmed by, by social injustices and, and governmental dysfunction that we are unable to focus on the main thing. We're unable to focus on the main thing, y'all. Which is, the main thing is what? Honoring and worshiping the Lord. It's honoring and worshiping the Lord as Savior and winning the loss. We, we so focused on everything else. We're forgetting about the very thing that should be the main thing. Amen. Amen. Good morning, Dr. Mudawali, as you come in. Good morning, you all. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Let everybody know we're here. Go ahead and, and share. The enemy uses distractions. And, and, and he uses these distractions. And, and he makes them seem really, you know, really, really, really important. To cause us to be um, disengaged with the only one, the only one that can actually do anything to change the outcome of the situation that we're overwhelmed by. He's the only one. But the enemy wants to distract us from being engaged with the one. Jesus. Come on now. Why are we worried about all these outside issues? Because the reality is this. The reality is there's only one of three things that is happening. Number one. Either the Lord will hear our collective prayers and cause events to occur to change the outcome of the situation. Or number two, God is using the situation to develop us, to change us, or to impart into our lives or into the nations. Amen. Or number three. It's only one of three things happening. The situation is the sign of a is the, uh, is a sign of the times that we are living in, and the Lord may give us the grace we need or to bear it, but He may not change it or bring us out of the situation because it's a sign of the times. Amen. So it's just one of those three things that's occurring. So if the truth be told, there's, there's no reason. There's no real reason. There's no reason for us to be worried about or, or to obsess over anything because our God has it under control. See, we don't need to obsess about anything. We don't need to worry about it. We don't need to focus on it. We don't need to, none of that. Because God has it under control. One way or another, he got it. Amen. He got it. Say to, just say to yourself, God got it. Good morning, Regina. God bless you this morning. So today, I just want to pray over you. I want to pray over you. I want to make some declarations over your life to break the back of, of, of the enemy, to break the back of all of these, um, of the spirit, of this spirit. It is a spirit. The spirit of hopelessness. I want to, we want to make declarations over you to break the back of heaviness. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We want to cast down every imagination. And every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of Christ. Amen. And bring it and bring those thoughts into captivity. Bring every thought into the captivity of God. Hallelujah. 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 
We're going to believe God. I'm going to make some declarations. We're going to pray right now. I want you to get yourself in the stance of prayer. I want you to get yourself in the stance to receive, to know that God, that God is working it out. God is in our midst and we don't have to carry this thing no more. So, you know, um, I understand that is that we have sometimes this overwhelming emotion. It, to, it's sent to our lives to keep us, to keep our lives cluttered with despair, cluttered with hopelessness. And it manifests sometimes uh, with prolonged depression. Amen. So I, that's who I'm talking to this morning. Hallelujah. Because this, this spirit of depression, this spirit of hopelessness, this spirit of despair and, and heaviness it is it, trying to take over but god is saying to us he's saying to us hallelujah rebuke this thing cast down every imagination put it in its place because i got it i got it just give it to me hallelujah so today father god hallelujah we take authority through the apostolic anointing and the commissioning of jesus christ over every spirit sent father god to hinder us from walking in the light and joy of our salvation hallelujah i declare that every spirit every spirit of hopelessness every spirit of despair every spirit of heaviness because really it's really a spirit of heaviness hallelujah every spirit of loss every spirit of depression and every other spirit associated with it hallelujah it's bound now in the name of jesus listen as i'm getting ready to make these declarations of your life as i'm getting ready to make and i'm, I'm praying over your life I, I really need you to receive i don't want you just sitting here listening i'm, I'm praying over you through the anointing and power of god your life can change your life can change right now today um, if you receive what I am saying this morning, if you receive what I am praying over you this morning, what I am declaring over you this morning, I'm getting ready to break some stuff off of your life, but you got to receive it in the name of Jesus. You have to receive it. I can pray it. I can declare it, but you have to actively receive it. You have to cast down every imagination. You have to lift up your faith. You have to cause your spirit man you have to speak to your spirit man say wake up in the name of jesus and we're praying actively for you for you so that you can get delivered out of this spirit of heaviness that's coming over people and over even the people of god hallelujah as we call on the name of the lord this morning i just declare that we shall be delivered we shall be delivered and it's not according to sophia but it's according to the word of god in Joel 2 and 32. And I declare, oh God, according to your word, in Isaiah, Father God, 61 and 3. God is giving unto us beauty. Hallelujah. He's given us beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Let me tell you something. God is so awesome. Hallelujah. That when people look at you, they don't know the level or the intensity. Hallelujah. Of the things that you have been through because he is giving you beauty for ashes. Hallelujah. He's giving, he's turning that thing around. And what should have caused you to look one way? Hallelujah. The spirit of God is moving in your life. Hallelujah. To give you beauty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Beauty on the inside. Beauty on the outside. When people look at you, they will see the Spirit of God moving in your life. The Spirit of God all over your life because He's given us beauty for the, the misery that we have been through. Father God, we declare and say, God is giving me beauty for my ashes. Hallelujah. I didn't been through something. In fact, I'm going through something right now, but God is going to take 
He's going to take these ashes. He's going to take this, all of this stuff that's happened and he's going to use it. Hallelujah for my good. And he's going to give me beauty. He's going to give me beauty. He's going to give me the oil of joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the garment of praise in the midst of my trial, in the midst of what I'm going through, he's going to give me a praise on my lips. Hallelujah. Lord God, I thank you that you're rebuking the spirit of heaviness. I want y'all to receive it this morning. Yes, God, I need y'all to receive it. Hallelujah. We as the body of Christ got to deal with this spirit that's trying to take over. We got to deal with this spirit of heaviness. We got to come against this spirit and it starts with us. We rebuke it. We got to actively, actively rebuke this spirit of heaviness in the name of Jesus. We just got to take authority. We just got to take authority over. God has given us authority in our mouth, so we just got to do it. You know, it's our God. Hallelujah. It is in our God and the God of hope that fills us with all joy and peace as we trust in him so that we may overflow with hope, that we may overflow with hope by the power of of the Holy Spirit. Lord, I thank you that your word says that when we come to you, when we are weary and heavy burden, oh God, that you will give us rest. God, I thank you for your word. God, I thank you that you are calling us trees of righteousness planted. I say I'm planted. I'm planted firm by the Lord. Hallelujah. So that you, so that God may be glorified in our lives. I declare over our lives, Psalms 42 and 11, that our souls are not downcasted. We are not disturbed within. Hallelujah. Do you hear the word? The word is saying that we are not a downcasted people because our souls, hallelujah, are planted. We are planted and we will not be disturbed. We are putting our hope in you, oh God, and we will yet praise him. We will yet praise our God. We will yet praise the Savior. Hallelujah. We receive and we believe that the Lord is keeping us from all hurt, harm, and danger. He is watching. He is watching over our life as we come to go, as we come and as we go in the name of Jesus. He's watching over us forevermore according to God's holy word in Psalms uh, 121, 7 through 8. Hallelujah. I Thank you, God, that you are watching over me day by day by day by day. Thank you, God. We declare, I declare over your life, I declare over your life, Romans 15 and 13, that the God of hope fills us with all joy and peace. Hallelujah. In believing and that we will abound in hope through the power of of the Holy Ghost. I'm declaring this over your life in the name of Jesus. Father God, we're breaking the back of heaviness this morning. We're breaking the back of hopelessness this morning. We're breaking the back of the enemy. This spirit you do not, we declare by the authority of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it's going through the air. Oh God, I thank you, oh God, because we're making declarations that this demon, this spirit of depression, this spirit, hallelujah, of heaviness has to go. It gotta go. It gotta go. It gotta go. We take up, oh God, Hebrews 11 and 1. Hallelujah. And that our faith is actually producing. Our faith is actually producing the substance of the thing. Hallelujah. Say my faith is producing my substance. My faith is producing my substance. I need you to declare it. My faith, my faith, my faith is producing my substance. It's producing substance in my life of the things we've hoped for. Hallelujah. The manifestations of, of our faith is before us now in Jesus name. Lord, because you are my refuge. You are my shield. I have put all my hope in you and in your word. Hallelujah. God, I may, I pray that it is so. Hallelujah. All my hope, all my faith is in Christ Jesus. Everything, hallelujah, is in Jesus. It's in Jesus. Father,
Father, we declare over our lives, according to Psalms 119 and 114, that we are holding unswervingly, hallelujah, to our hope. We profess in you, Lord, because you are faithful and you uphold your promises. God, we're declaring the word this morning. I'm declaring the word over your life. We are strong and full of heart and courage as we hope in the Lord, according to Hebrews 10 and 23. Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. It tarry. Hallelujah. Though it tarry, oh God, we are going to hope for what we do not have, oh God. We go hope for it, Father God. Yes, it may be taking longer than we expected, but Lord, we're hoping in you, Father God. We shall wait for it patiently because your word declares we should in Psalms 31 and 24. Hallelujah. Because I know, I know, I know, I know if I watch in hope and in expectation of you, oh God. Hallelujah. And if I wait for God, our Savior, I know that you, I know God that you're going to hear me because your word says it in Romans 8 and 25. In 25. Father God today, Father God today, I know that the spirit of the sovereign Lord is in me and upon me. Hallelujah. Because the Lord has anointed me. He's anointed me to proclaim the good news to the poor. He's anointed me even this morning to declare to you, hallelujah, that you coming out of hopelessness. You're coming out of this depression. It's a spirit. I, it, they may call it whatever they want to call it, but it's a spirit of heaviness. I'm going to tell you something. If you're on medication and you still depressed that's a demon if you on medication and you still depressed i need you to know that's a demon it's a demon from the pits of hell sent to get you off sent to cause you to focus on other things than jesus sent to make you think that god is not moving on your behalf that demon is sent you know what it's sent to do to kill you to kill you either physically or kill your destiny hallelujah it wants to set you back it wants to steal your years. Hallelujah. It wants to steal from you. This demon is trying to steal from you. It's trying to steal your joy. It's trying to steal your hope. I need you to actively pray this morning. And so, you know what? Some of you, it may not be for you, but it might be for your kids. It might be for your kids. So you got to stand up. Somebody got to stand up for their children. Somebody got to pray over their children. Somebody got to make a decision that it's, the, it ends here. Today is over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Hallelujah. Father, Father sent me here this morning to bind up that broken hearted spirit. Hallelujah. To proclaim freedom. Hallelujah. And even I proclaim freedom over my life. I proclaim freedom over your life. Hallelujah. I proclaim freedom freedom over every captive hallelujah hallelujah and god wants us released from the darkness he wants us released from every spirit of darkness and this is just according to his word in first peter one and three hallelujah father we thank you right now because you have our hope hallelujah our hope oh god is in you not in the world not in things but in god our hope is in god our strength is being being renewed right now. Hallelujah. We shall soar, Father God. I declare that we shall soar, Father God, like the eagles. We shall run and we're not going to stop running. We're going to run and not faint, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We will not grow weary in the name of Jesus. We will walk and not faint in the name of Jesus. We will stand firm. We will not back down. Come on, come on, come on. Pray this morning. Pray over yourself. Pray over your people. Aren't you tired? Aren't you tired of being in this same position? Aren't you tired of your kids being in this same position? Aren't you tired of your family member? You need to stand in the gap this morning because this spirit of heaviness, I'm telling y'all, is trying to take over. But if we don't confront it, if we don't deal with it, if we don't and say, oh no, you're not going to come up in here. If we don't do it, it will win. I'm telling you right now, it's not going to win in my life. I'm not going to allow the spirit of heaviness. I'm not going to allow it to come in my
my life and to take over. Hallelujah. We will step out, oh God, of the shadow of darkness and we not never, we ain't gonna never return. Hallelujah. I thank you for your word, God. I thank you for Isaiah 40 and 31, oh God. We're not looking back, oh God. We're not giving into depression. We're not giving to oppression. We're not giving to sickness or disease. Hallelujah. We're forcefully, come on, say, I'm forcefully rejecting. I'm forcefully rejecting everything sent to distract me. I'm forcefully rejecting everything, oh God, sent to, to, to take my hope away. Hallelujah, the hope of my calling. Hallelujah, to take away my destiny, to take away all that you've done in me and through me, God. Hallelujah, I refuse, I refuse, I refuse to give it up. I refuse to give up what God is giving to me. We forcefully, forcefully, forcefully reject, oh God, the spirit of heaven is you got to forcefully, you got to tell that devil to get out. Hallelujah. Sometimes I'm going to tell you this, and you may think, you may think I'm over the top. I really don't care what you think because see, I know what work, I know what it takes sometimes. Sometimes you got to open the door of your house and you got to kick the devil out. There are times that you got to open the door, open the door and kick the devil. You got to tell him he can't live here. You can't stay here. You can't live. You can't be here. You got to get up at this place right now. So, Father God, we forcefully reject the spirit of heaviness today and every day. We don't want you. You got to go. You got to get up out of here. Look. You got to get up out of here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We forcefully, God, we forcefully reject the lying spirit that tells us that God has forgotten us. Hallelujah. And God is not going to do it. Hallelujah. We forcefully reject it in the name of Jesus. It's a lie. It's a lie. I hope you agree with me this morning. It's a lie. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a lie. Forcefully rejected in the name of Jesus. God has not forgotten us. God is going to do it. Whatever your it is, God's going to do it. Whatever your it is, whatever it is, whatever it is, God's going to do it. God's going to do it. God's going to do it. I'm, I'm here to tell you this morning. He told me to tell you. He told me to tell you that your delay was not a denial. It was for your making. God is going to do it. He He's going to do it. Hallelujah. You need to accelerate. You need to uplift. Hallelujah. Your faith. It's a lie from the pits of hell that tells you what he's not going to do. That he don't love you. He ain't thinking about you. It's a lie. Hallelujah. And Lord, we don't receive a lie. And we don't, we, we don't give into a lie. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We don't give into it. I refuse it. I, I, I totally forcefully reject it. Hallelujah. I forcefully reject the weight of the burdens of the world. See, that's another trick of the enemy. He tries to get us all weighted down. He tries to get us all mixed up, weighted down with all kinds of stuff going on. And I'm not saying these things are not important, but we can't carry the burdens of the world. They're not for us to carry. He never intended for us to carry those burdens. He intended for us, hallelujah, to give it to him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And so, Father God, I lose peace over your people in the name of Jesus. I lose peace of mind. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. I pray over their heart, oh God. Hallelujah in the name. Pray for Father God that there will be peace in their heart. Oh God. And I lose the serenity of God. I lose the shalom of God over each and every one of your people this morning. Each and every one of the people that will watch this video even throughout the weeks and uh, months to come, Father God. I just loose it over them right now in the name of Jesus. I lose joy over you right now in the name of Jesus. May the joy of the Lord, may the joy of the Lord, may the joy of the Lord be your peace, uh, be your strength, excuse me. May the joy of the Lord be your strength, hallelujah, and your portion in the name of Jesus. May the joy, may the joy of the Lord fill your heart and may your household Hallelujah. And may your household be filled with peace and joy. May your household be filled. Hallelujah. With joy 
in the name of Jesus, Father God, hallelujah, we just ask you, oh now, we ask you, oh God, we ask you, oh God, to seal these prayers this morning over your people, oh God, you ask me to declare and to decree over them this morning, that they shall, that that spirit of hopelessness has to go, we rebuke it in the name of Jesus, we command it to go by the authority of the Lord, even in your atmosphere right now, God, I pray that you would dispatch the angels throughout the households, dispatch angels throughout house. You know what? Even in the spirit realm right now. Yeah, I know it's early in the morning, but that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm getting ready to say. I see it. Hallelujah. Somebody on this call right now. I see it like a uh, darkness. I see darkness in the room and I'm not talking about because the light is off. I'm saying I see darkness like there is a weight of darkness, darkness. Hallelujah. I command it to go. Hallelujah. Even now I pray for Diane right now. I pray for Diane right now. Oh, glory. I, I get the I see. I command that spirit of heaviness to go. Father, even now, the Lord is sending angels even to Diane's house right now. Lord God, clean the atmosphere. I see that spirit of darkness and heaviness hovering around, literally hovering, hovering in the house, hovering in your room. Hold it like hovering over your mind. Satan, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You spirit of heaviness, you're going to go today. You're going to go today. I need you to agree with me though. I need you to agree with me though get it out get it out in the name of jesus hallelujah you know what and I hear the Lord say over Diane, ha, Yabasoka, this has been something that has been, um, this spirit has been literally uh, chasing you. It's lit, you, you, you have tried to get it under control, but what you don't understand is not the medication. It's not medication. It's not just therapy. <clears throat> That ain't what it is. What it is, it's a demon of heaviness. And we speak to the demon of heaviness. Oh God, if there's any legal right for that spirit to be there, God, we repent on her behalf right now. Even now, if there's any legal rights for the, this spirit of heaviness to be in your life, Lord, we repent right now. If, if there's a legal right hindering the move of God, hindering, oh God, the Lord from delivering you from the spirit of heaviness, we stand in the gap for you right now. Now, and we repent right now in the name of Jesus. We ask you to cleanse us, oh God. Prepare the way. Wash us, oh God. Lord, remove all sin, oh God. If there's any um curses, anything that's been spoken over our life, Lord, we rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus. But this demon of heaviness, oh God, this demon of heaviness has to go in the name of Jesus. And Father, we pray, oh God, oh my, yes, we pray that this spirit of heaviness, hallelujah, we you must flee now in the name of Jesus. Lord, send your angels, oh God, to uproot that thing, to uproot that thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uproot it. Pull it out at the root, oh God, and burn it at the root, oh God. Lord, we pray that this demon, hallelujah, won't, you know how the word says it, that it'll seek about, see where it's, um, it's go out roaming, trying to find a place. But Father, we pray even now that it can't come back in the season because you are there. Your spirit is there. Oh, hallelujah. God, we thank you, oh, oh God, for, for lifting her up, for lifting all of them up out of the mirror clay in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are there any prayer requests this morning? Are there any prayer requests this morning? Father God, I thank you. I thank you, oh God, that you're delivering your people. God is delivering us this morning. He's delivering us from this spirit of heaviness. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Somebody wrote in there, kick him out. You do. You got to kick the devil out. There's times you got to open the door and kick him. Say, you got to get out of here. You on the look. You can go to the dry place, but you cannot stay here any longer. And I'm telling you, I actually opened the door and kicked the devil out. Hallelujah. Because I'm not, he's not going to come up in here. He's not going to stay here. He has to go. The word says, rebuke the devil and he shall flee from you. So if we rebuke him, he has to go. If we rebuke the devil, he has to flee from you. And if we just believe the word. We just got to believe the word. Amen. I believe the word. I don't know about you, but I believe the word. While I'm waiting on your prayer request, I'm going to go ahead on and keep on praying. Father God, we have a workers meeting. 
in the North Carolina third jurisdiction of the Churches of God in Christ. And Bishop Patrick L. Wooden is my leader. Hallelujah. We're having a workers meeting of uh, this, this, this it was Wednesday last night, tonight, and then Friday night. And so, Father, I pray over um, the work, not just the workers meeting, but I pray over my bishop. I pray over Mother Beverly DeJanay. I thank you for our set woman of God. She's also my leader. I'm submitted to her. And I, I just thank God for godly leadership. Let me tell you something. Hallelujah. I, I'm, I just got to tell y'all something. See, <laughs> when you've been through something, you just got to be grateful. You got to be grateful. And I'm grateful for godly people. I'm grateful for people who, who, who actually live who actually live what they preach i'm grateful i'm grateful for godly examples i'm grateful for people of integrity and so god i lift up this man and woman of god to you who are our leaders i thank you even for bishop's wife she's our leader oh god i thank you oh god hallelujah that you set them over this jurisdiction hallelujah i thank you oh god ha oh god that you are using them in this season our bishop has just recently been set over the entire men's department of the church of God in Christ and I'm gonna tell you something we need strong leadership we need strong men and good in, 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 in leadership and so father I thank you for doing it God and I ask you oh God that the presence of the Lord will meet us in this this meeting will meet us in this workers meeting I pray father God that it will not be church as usual I pray father God that the glory of God the glory of God will manifest, hallelujah, in the church and in our lives, oh God. I pray, Lord, as we go, that we will be changed forever in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, you anoint my mother. You anoint Mother Beverly DeJanay. Oh God, anoint her to release the word to the women. Anoint Bishop, oh God, to release the word to our jurisdiction. Anoint them afresh and anew. Let a hedge of protection be around them. Cover them, oh God, even as they travel. Oh Oh God, give them strength in their bodies and in their mind, oh God. Lord, I ask you, oh God, to do a new thing, oh God, and go give them an excitement about ministry in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, oh God, yes, God, hallelujah, I pray that you would anoint him the same way you did Caleb. Yes, God, yes, I do. I pray, yes, you do, God. You give them a stride in their step, oh God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, that you're renewing their strength like the eagles in the name of Jesus. God, I just pray that souls will be saved as we are airing it all through uh, the world. I pray that souls will be saved. Hallelujah. People will be touched in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray over the woman of God. I pray over Dr. Archibald. Dr. Archibald, I want you to know I want you to know, hallelujah, in, in just the last couple of weeks, I've received so many testimonies of the Lord. Um, we, we praying for people and God blessing their finances. And so woman of God, yay! I hear the Lord say, don't be afraid to transition. Don't be afraid to move. Don't be afraid. Step out on faith. Actually, the Lord said you are underpaid. Hallelujah. You're underpaid for two reasons. You underpaid because you underpaid. Uh, maybe because of systemic uh, racism. Uh, but also, you are underpaid because you are the laborer of God. And I hear the Lord say, I heard the Lord say 30% increase in the name of Jesus. God said he's giving you a 30% increase in the name of Jesus. Hey, I hear him say this the lord say i'm giving you 30 percent increase but i'm giving you some 60 and 100 fold in the spirit realm hallelujah what does that mean what does that mean what that means is this that it might be 30 percent in the natural but god is gonna use it to multiply a hundred fold oh god i say thank you in the name of jesus the lord said don't be afraid don't be afraid to ask don't be afraid to step out father i 
pray even now that you will bless their hands. I pray, Father God, that you will bless the laborer's hands. God, I pray. So, see, you know what, Lord? I hear the Lord saying, you want to do even more in ministry. I don't even know how that's possible. But the Lord says, you want to do more in ministry. You want to have more time. Oh, Holy Ghost. You want to have more time to do ministry. Hallelujah. Lord, I ask you, Holy Ghost, to drop her hours to 32 hours a week in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Between 32 and 36 hours a week. And, and I pray, Father God, that you're still going to give her the 30% increase. Lord says this. Hallelujah. He said, be bold in the Lord. He said, be bold. Hallelujah. You got to open your mouth and ask for what you want. Because you are deserving of it. You are underpaid and you are deserving of it. Hallelujah. But if they were not able, if they not, if they refuse to, the Lord said, but don't be afraid because he's backing you up. Hallelujah. God is backing you. In fact, woman of God, the Lord said, wherever you go, wherever your foot shall tread, hallelujah, the favor of God shall precede you. The favor of God shall go behind you in the name of Jesus. The favor, the favor of God is all around you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wealth is upon you. When people look at you, don't you know that they think you are wealthy? When they look at you, all they see is riches. Hallelujah. And so, Father, I pray, oh God, that what they see will manifest, that will manifest in the natural, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I pray even for her retirement. I pray, Father God, that you would supernaturally catch her up. I pray, Father God, that you would supernaturally cause it, oh God, to uh, exponentially increase in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, woman of God. I just, I pray that as God, and when God does it, let me know. Don't, don't, don't forget to tell me about it. Now, don't forget to tell me what God is doing. But God say, be bold. Be bold. Be bold in the Lord. Be bold. Be bold. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't shy back. Do not, do not shy back. Do not step back. Be bold in the Lord because God is with you. Hallelujah. How much more can we ask for? If God is with us, then who could be against us in the name of Jesus? Glory to God. Listen, okay, I see another prayer request here. Let me see. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Uh, Dr. Muda Wallace, she said, pray for clarity order steps and direction for what is next in my career. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you for this blessed woman of God. I thank you, oh God, hallelujah. I thank you that you are using her on so many different levels, on so many platforms. I thank you, Father God, hallelujah, hallelujah, that you are releasing divine direction, divine insight, hallelujah, and and. and you are moving in her midst in the name of Jesus. I do hear God say this, woman of God, do not rush. Do not rush. Do not rush. <clears throat> do not rush. Hallelujah. The Lord said, do not, don't, don't move until you know that you know that God has, has, has ordained the step. Hey, oh, ho, ho, Labosia. I hear him saying this. Hey, Kia Sokola. There's some things that are being presented to you. There's some opportunities that are being presented, presented to you that look good. They look good. Ah, Yabasia. They look good, but they're not God. They look good, but they're not God. So, hallelujah hallelujah they look good but they're not god hallelujah and the lord says i'm not gonna give you peace about it because it's not me there's opportunities coming there's all kinds of opportunities coming things that are presenting themselves oh i even heard say people that are presenting themselves but god said is not me. And he said, you know what it looks like. You know what it feels like when I have released you. You know what that's like. Hallelujah. Because you've experienced it before. And the Lord is saying to you, woman of God, and since you know, don't pretend or think or forget 
Hallelujah. The release and what that what that feels like in the name of Jesus. God say, wait. See, I shall make the plans clear. I shall make I shall order your steps in the name of Jesus. God say, I shall order your steps. I shall order your steps. Hallelujah. Because you rely on me. Hallelujah. So, Father, we pray right now. Hallelujah. That you would be a lamp. Hallelujah. To her feet. And that you would direct her path oh God and that she will not step out of a place in the name of Jesus that she will only move when you say move that she will only go when you say go and though it looks good it looks good but God say it's not God it looks great but it's not God you got one thing about you woman of God hallelujah you got to stay in the will of God you got to see see God there's so much God is doing and developing in you there's so much that he's gonna do through you that you must stay you gotta stay you you in particular woman of God you got to stay right smack dab in the middle of God. You know how some people, we talk about the permissive will. We talk about um, um, that, that the permissive will of God. God said, no, uh-uh. With you, it's the perfect will. He said, stay in my perfect will. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I thought I saw another prayer request. Did I see another prayer request? Lord, I pray, oh God, even now for Kendra. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray for Kendra. Lord, I thank you for the woman of God. Lord, I thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. You know what, Kendra? The Lord, I, he, just, he just dropped something in my sphere. You know, when God is transitioning you, it's very uncomfortable. When you are being um, stretched, it's very, very uncomfortable. And you probably have never been here before. So when you're being stretched, when God is saying, eh, he's trying to pull you out of your old ways. He's trying to pull you out of what's familiar. When you're being stretched, it does not feel good. In fact, stretching hurts. I'm going to give you an example. My son, Jackson, he, he's tall now, but I, I believe he's going to be even taller. But like when he was a little boy, <clears throat> I, I, his legs used to hurt a lot. I mean, they would hurt really, really bad. And I remember taking him to the doctor. And um, as a matter of fact, I took him to the doctor more than one time because the type of pain he was in. And and he would say, oh, and they check him and they give him even all kind of blood tests and whatever. And, and, and they would test him. And the doctor said this. He said, listen, the reason why he is hurting in his in his knees and in his joints and his, his legs is because he's going to be very tall. And his body is stretching and it hurts and it hurts and so God is saying to you woman of God you are being stretched and it hurts but you need to be you need to understand and you need to become comfortable with the stretch hallelujah and you need to step into your next place you need to become the boldness of God you need to step out of your familiar territory hallelujah the old ways the old ways you even dealt with things the old ways you even thought about things the old ways and become who God has ordained you to become hallelujah hallelujah and Lord I pray over her finances in the name of Jesus I pray father God that you would bless supernaturally bless her finances Lord we pray oh God hallelujah that you would give her her in addition to her business in addition to the makeup um and Lord, that you would give her um, a, 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 a supernatural flow. There's a flow of, of income that God is going to do. There's something God is getting ready to release. There's something God is getting ready to do that will supernaturally, hallelujah, give a flow to your income. Hallelujah. And so it won't be up and down, up and down, in and out, in and out. It, it's going to be a supernatural flow, a flow to that thing in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for her consulting business. I thank you, Father God. Hey, I thank you. Yes. Yes, Holy Spirit. The Lord is opening up some doors, woman of God. He's opening up some doors in the area of, of the makeup. But Lord, I thank you that you're, oh, yes, God, you must, you must, you must get into, you must get into doing the makeup for the, um, 
hallelujah, like for commercials and for um, even if it's film and things like that, you got to get into that. And matter of fact, I told you I need to talk to you about something. So I want you to, uh, but you got to get into that. I'm talking about on a professional level. You're missing out on some things because you're moving slow. Stop moving slow. Hallelujah. Get, you got When God say move, honey, you got to go. You got to go. Got to go. See, I, I used to do that, but I can't delay anymore. When God say move, I got to go. We don't even know how much time we get. So when God say do it, I want to I want to die totally empty. I want to die doing everything God told me to do. So I don't want to miss nothing. You understand? So I'm saying when God say move, move in the name of Jesus. Move in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh God, I see another prayer request uh, from Michelle. It says asking prayer for the Ferris family at this time for a loved one in the hospital right now. They say he's brain dead, but I know God has the final say. So amen. Let me tell you what you need to do, uh, Michelle. Let me let me let me tell you. Ha but I heard God say, even if they had to put the phone to his ear, I need you to go to Romans 10, 9, and 10. I need you to go to Romans 10, 9, and 10. And I need you, even if they just put the phone to his ear. See, there, there's purpose in everything. Hallelujah. The Lord is giving has given you a supernatural stay. He's giving you time. He's giving your, your family time to, so that your family member can get it right. I need you to go to Romans 10, 9, and 10. And I need you to, to, to uh, lead them into now, whether they say they brain dead or not, it doesn't matter because I'm telling you the spirit man can receive it. And lead them into the sinner's prayer. Do you understand? But then in addition, make sure you tell them that they must repent. Repent, repent. See, there's sometimes things we can think. There are times, hallelujah, where people can be in church all their life or they can be associated with church. They can claim Jesus, but they hold an unforgiveness in their heart. And I need you to tell them to repent and release all unforgiveness in the name of Jesus. And God, hallelujah, you got to do it. You need to do it immediately. Begin to pray over your family, the Ferris family. Father, I pray for the grace over uh, the Ferris family. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, that you would give them grace, oh God, to walk through this situation. I pray, Father God, that you make all provision available to them in the name of Jesus. I pray, Father God, that the grace of God will be upon them in the name of Jesus, the peace of God. Go before him even now. Send the comforter even now in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray right now that you will give Michelle the boldness, oh God. Give her the boldness, oh God, to speak it in the boldness of God hallelujah and lead them hallelujah it's a spiritual thing honey it don't matter what they talk about the brain waves and all that it's a spiritual thing that must be done it must be done and so I'm telling you now that God is going to use you God is going to use you I don't care what you think I'm telling you what I heard God say this needs to be done it needs to be done and you need to tell them they got to repent from unforgiveness I am a conya sikede stuff they've been holding for many years. It gotta go, it gotta go. Hallelujah. Before a transition occurs, it needs to go so that you will see your family member again in heaven in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Y'all know, can y'all believe my time is up? I pray that you have received this morning. You have received your deliverance. You have received your deliverance from this hopeless spirit. You have received your spirit. Uh, your deliverance from the spirit of heaviness. I pray that you have you are not allowing this demon to take over. I pray that you are not allowing it to take over. Now I tell you what, I see that somebody else put a prayer request. I'm going to pray for you anyway. I'm going to pray. Don't, so just because I'm ending this call does not mean I'm not going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you. I want you to remember that on Tuesday night, hallelujah, we have Dr. Lakasha Godwin White. And she will be with us through prayer power in the prophetic. And look, you cannot forget that the woman of God, uh, some is Christian Anderson, is going to be here next Friday night. I'm telling you, God getting ready to do something big. He's going to do something big. You want to be in the house? You want to 
be a part of it. Come on, come on, come on. I'm telling you right now. And if you feel like this ministry has blessed your life in any way, you can give in these three ways. UpliftCC.com. You can go to Giblify and give Uplift Word. Or you can go to Cash App and that's Uplift. Uh, what's that? Dollar sign. Cut uplift Word. However. But anyway, I just love you all. I thank you for joining me every week. I thank you. I want you to tell your friends about us. Because, you know, the, Lord, the word of the Lord has to get out. God wants everybody free. Hallelujah. He wants us to be free. And he wants not just here in America, but all throughout the world. He wants his people to be free. So let the word of the Lord get out to the people of God. And you know, you can do that through sharing, through sharing. So I love you so much. And I thank you again for joining me and be right back here next Thursday morning at 530 a.m. Matter of fact, you can go ahead and set your phone so that you don't miss it. God bless you. And I love you. Bye-bye. Thank you.